Hi everyone, I'm Tamara Haynes with the American Quilter Magazine, here to bring you another product spotlight. And I am here at Quilt Week with Bernie Collier. He is a well-known personality. He is here to entertain all of you ladies, so you really should stop by and meet him sometime. You also might know him from The Price is Right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, he was a big winner on The Price is Right, and we watched that in the Paducah Quilt Week, Absolutely, didn't we? absolutely. Yes. So, congratulations on that. Well, thank you. Yeah. And you could all be a big winner as well with our stencils. So, That's and right. I'd like to thank you all. Uh, I am Bernie Collier with Hansi mm -hmm. Creations, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about our stencils. Excellent. The, I just can't wait for him to bring them to life. So I'll step out and let him take all right, well, it away. All right. Well, thank you, Tamara. You're welcome. Okay. So this afternoon, we're going to talk a little bit about our stencils. Now, our stencil is a little bit different from your traditional stencil. Is that it doesn't have a backing. It's got a fine screen, a fine mesh, and what that does, it allows your powder to transfer right from your pounce pad, right through that stencil onto your fabric, and it gives you a really nice fine line. So we take our pounce. And it's called a pounce pad. Whatever you do, do not pounce your pounce, because if you pounce this, you're going to have powder going everywhere. So we're going to teach you how to do this. Your application is very important. So we're not going to pounce it. We're not going to brush it, OK? Find an application, just like I'm doing here. I'm just brushing that powder right through my stencil. And what that does, it gives you a nice fine line going all the way across your, uh, your fabric. Now, the nice thing about our stencil is that it stays on your fabric. So if you want to get uh, right to the bottom of it, it stays right there. Different ways you could take it off. You have different options to remove that white powder. First, you could take it off with a hot iron. Okay, if you didn't want to use the iron, you could actually throw it in a dryer, which is really nice. Or you could use a hair dryer. A hair dryer with the heat is going to take that white powder off. Now, if you don't want to take any kind of heat to it at all, you could actually brush it off the limp brush or you could wash it out. The nice things about our stencil is we have registration marks. So if you want it to go all the way around your quilt and you want to keep that pattern straight, we don't want to go on a little lean on that. You're going to use that registration mark. So I'm going to show you how you hook that up. So there's my registration mark there. What I do is I'm going to slide it all the way down to here. I put my finger right to the base and I flip it over my fingertip. That way I can see where I'm going. And what I do is I just match up plus sign to plus sign. When I flip my stencil back over, it's going to give me a nice straight continuous line going all the way around my quilt. Now the nice thing about our stencil as well is that you can use either side of the stencil. There's no wrong or right side to it. And I like to encourage people when they do get one of our stencils, especially borders, play around with it, experiment with it. You might be able to create something that you didn't know was there, like this wave right here. What we're going to do, I'm going to pounce this, I'm going to mirror this image, and I'm going to make a heart pattern out of it. I could actually get five different designs out of this one, just the way you position your stencil. So there's your heart. So when you do get one of your stencils home, experiment with it, play around with it. If you like what it looks like, you can stitch it. If you don't, once you take it off, no one's going to know it's even there, OK? So your white powder comes off with the heat, like I was mentioning before. The durability of your stencil. So if your stencil gets crinkled up, it's in the bottom of your bag or it's in the bottom of your drawer, and your stencil looks something like that, just take it and iron it out so you're ready to go again. We have over 450 different designs. Most of our stencils have some kind of registration mark, so use them. It's going to keep that pattern straight. Now, if you're working with a lighter fabric, like a white or a cream, a beige color, that white on that color fabric, you're not going to be able to see that. So we do have pink, blue, and barely blue chalk. Now, this chalk is different from your white powder. The white irons off. Anything that has a chalk and a color, you're going to have to brush off or wash out. Never iron it. If you iron it, you're going to set it. Anything that has a color has a dye in it. Anything that has a dye. We'll, we'll set it. So we put the universal sign that don't do that on most of our packaging, OK? So don't do that. This limp brush that we use, fantastic. It takes it right out. You can take it off of anything. You another piece of fabric, a piece of batting. This thing, it's easy to find on your table. So if you got one of these, use that. Now, there's other things that you could do with your stencil. You could paint through it. That is fabric paint. Paint it right through your stencil. What we did was took a little so soft fabric paint, and then we just paint right through that line. We pick it up slow, and then we wash our stencil in the sink. We just spray it down. We pat it dry, ready to go again. This one right here, we paint it through the stencil. We let it dry, and then we quilt it over top of that. So you can do many different things with our stencils. That's about all I have for you right now. I, we could do other things with it. You could pounce through your wood, or you could actually etch glass through your stencil. But for right now, getting down to the nitty gritty of getting your quilt work done, just use these stencils. And I thank you for watching. And uh, maybe we'll see you uh, here at a show in the near future. Thanks so much, Bernie, for this excellent demonstration and showing us on 
how we can make our quilting easier. This is Pico. He hears the explanation all the time as he sits at Bernie's feet here at Quilt Week. Yes, actually, Pico can do the demonstration better than me. You know. <laughs> no, so. yeah, he's bored. Yes. <laughs> so, thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to bringing you the next product spotlight from the American Quilter Magazine.